today. I hope everything is going very well in your lives. So today I wanted to film a different kind of video. The summer of 2006 is when I first started my lock. So this summer 2016 is my 10 year lock anniversary. So I thought I would film a video on kind of why I got my locks and how long my locks are now. So I was 11 years old when I first decided that I wanted to get locks and I have never ever regretted that decision. So if you're watching this video right now and you're indecisive on whether you want to get locks and maybe it's family that's discouraging you or friends, I encourage you to go with what you feel you should do and um, going natural in either the loose form or the locked form is a really beautiful thing and you're definitely not going to regret it because that's how we were meant to wear our hair. So if you're watching this video, hopefully by the end of it you will feel encouraged and excited to start your lock journey. So like I said earlier, I first got my locks in the summer of 2006 and 10 years later I am so happy that I made that decision. Um, I love having locks and I'm sure that you can tell from my channel that there are endless possibilities for how you can style locks, how you can curl locks. So I hope that you guys out there will continue your journey and if you haven't started, I hope that you will join as well. So definitely comment below um, to tell me if you're two years locked, if you're three years locked, if you're four years locked, if you're 15 years locked because I love hearing those words. It's really encouraging for me to continue making videos on my channel. I was going to wait until I redid my curls and then I was going to come back on here but um, right now this is an old braid out and then in the front I have some old pipe cleaner curls. I recently did a video on faux bangs so you can click the little box on the top of the screen to go to that video but um, I figured it would just be more relaxed just to show you how my locks look most of the time. Um, when I do a video that's when my hair is at its best and that's when my curls are fresh but I also like how it looks when the curls kind of fall a bit and I'm not too fussy with locks if you've seen my lock wash routine I like to keep things simple so actually when my hair is in this state I actually really like it so yeah thumbs up this video if you're also kind of a laid-back person with your locks okay so let's do a length check so my hair in the front goes when I stretch it out, it goes to here. My belly button's right here. Even though we have locks, we also experience shrinkage. When your new growth is coming in, um, you're gonna be experiencing shrinkage. So to see the true length of your locks, you just pull at the ends a bit. Okay, so now I have my tape measure and I'm going to measure the length of my lock. Let's use the inches. Twenty three and a half inches. So I grabbed a piece from the back and it was twenty three and a half inches. Let's grab another piece. and a half inches so my hair ranges from 22 to about 24 inches let's try one from on top that one's about 21 inches so yeah my hair ranges from 21 to about 23 inches in case you're wondering how long my locks are after 10 years. So yeah, you don't need 22 inch Brazilian wavy bundles of hair. <laughs> if you have any questions that you would like to ask me about my hair, then definitely comment below those questions and I will either do a separate video on them or I will answer them in the comments. So yeah, I think that is it for my 10 years locked video. I hope you enjoyed it and that this encouraged you to keep going with your journey or to start one. Um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, share this video, and comment below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!